Hello everyone, Marco Montemagno here, Digital Domination Summit 2013, Gil Blunder uh, with me, founder of Inside Tracker. Hi Gil, how are you going? Hi Marco, how are you? <laughs> Everything great. We met with, with Gil at uh, Le Web in Paris in uh, 2012 and I was really fascinated by uh, by, by Gil you, yourself because you are a great person. I really uh, had fun with you, but also uh, by the all the theory behind Inside Tracker and the product and the service that you launched, uh, and so I thought, gosh, Gil, uh, he, he has to be at Digital Domination Summit. And the the reason and the the, the point where I, I want to start from is that I, I watched this interview with uh, Richard Branson. All right, um, I don't know, a couple of days ago, and uh, the question was, uh, all right, Sir Richard, how could you become a great entrepreneur? And I was waiting for an answer like, you know, having strategic uh, plans or funding and everything. And he said, look, I live here in Necker Island. Every day I go to swim. And uh, the rule number one is that you have to be fit and healthy. That's it. Otherwise, it's no entrepreneur. <laughs> I thought, gosh, it's true. And we often forgot how important it is. It's, uh, it's correct if I say that we didn't say trucker, I get a blood test. And uh, from the blood test, I have uh, not only the classic blood analysis, but I have uh, a lot of input and feedback about how can I eat better, what kind of lifestyle should I do, uh, how can I improve my, my, my style, my everyday style. Is it, is it right? Yeah, yeah. So uh, Inside Tracker is a web-based platform that's based in uh, Boston, Massachusetts, that analyzes and tracks biochemistry data and helps you to find health and performance issues when they are very small. Okay. And then help you to fix it using simple intervention such as food you can find in the local grocery shop, supplements, exercise and lifestyle changes. So we are trying to do all, the, all of it naturally. What is uh, cool about Inside Tracker is it is not a, only an anal analysis of information that our customer receive, but the empowerment of the customer with tangible recommendation to change his or her behavior to improve their performance. Instant mm -hmm. Tracker give you the tools to take charge of your own body health and performance, and that in the definition of the Me Health Digital Health Revolution that we'll discuss later. Okay, so uh, wh what do you think in your experience, skill? I mean, uh, you, you have people doing blood tests, you know, and normally sport, sportsmen are doing blood tests, right? So, uh, or if you, are, uh, if you don't feel good, the doctors say, okay, you, you should do a blood test and, and you get uh, data out of it. Um, what, what's your recommendation, first of all? I mean, to do a healthy life, I mean, blood test, I saw Tim Ferriss, maybe he's doing a, a blood test uh, once every four weeks or something like that. How often yeah. you recommend to do a test in your experience? So for average person like you and me, I would say every a quarter to twice a year. Okay. Uh, we have a, a lot of professional athletes that they really want to stay healthy and don't miss any games. So they do it even every month. Uh, like uh, what you said, like uh, Tim Ferriss. So basically between every month to twice a year, that makes sense. All right, and that's not enough. And what are the most important things that, that you should uh, watch out? I mean, then obviously tools like Inside Tracker helps you to, to give you specific indication of what to do. But in a, from a general point of view, what are the factors that uh, uh, have the, more, the biggest impact on, uh, on people's life. So what, what should, should you watch when you do a blood test? So we develop a panel of around 20 blood biomarkers that related to health and performance. Okay. So basically we drill down from around 3,000 blood biomarkers that are available today in the diagnostic company and go to the 20 that are most important for health and performance of healthy people. So we are not looking at the marker of disease but more mar marker of health. Okay. For example, uh, markers like vitamin D, vitamin B12, uh, testosterone, which is very important for uh, men's health. And uh, surprisingly, we, we found that uh, around 10% of our customers have low uh, testosterone that they haven't been aware of. Now, low testosterone can cause a lot of issues for a, a healthy a male. First of all, you will have uh, less muscles. Uh, okay. uh, you, you will also... Um, 
have an issue with uh, being aggressive, you'll be much less aggressive because uh, testosterone is the male hormone. Uh, right. Also, you will have uh, less uh, a sex drive and you will also be less uh, uh, fertile. So all of that is, uh, is not fun. And basically, we, I was extremely surprised that around 10% of our customers, wow. which are basically uh, part of the highest level of uh, people, they are athletes, they are uh, yeah. professional, high-income CEOs, a lot of them have low testosterone and they haven't been aware of. So that's a, a, an example of a marker. Another, okay. marker. another interesting marker that we are looking at is uh, magnesium. Magnesium is very important for performance, but also there is a lot of implication of low magnesium and the low quality of sleep. And we okay. again found a lot of uh, our customers uh, at the low magnesium. We recommend them to increase their magnesium using uh, nutrition and supplement. And a lot of them uh, uh, saw a, 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 a significant increase in the quality of, of uh, sleep. So that was also very cool. Um, other markers that are uh, very interesting wait, wait, are... Wait, Gil, but it's true that yeah. testosterone, people with less hair has got more, have got more testosterone. Is it true or is it a myth? <laughs> I haven't looked at that, but I think that okay. uh, that might be the case, at least <laughs> for you. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I interrupt you, but I was always curious about it. I never had the chance to properly ask, you know, I, I always want to think that uh, is something better and not, not something less. Okay, so uh, by your marker. And another one marker that I want to raise is a marker that look uh, at uh, uh, the amount of alcohol that you drink. So a lot of people are living in a way that they are drinking a lot at night and then they are saying, no, we are not drinking too much, especially yeah. with professional athletes. So we are uh, uh, going to introduce very soon a marker that basically can uh, see inside your body and see how much alcohol you drink and then you cannot lie and say, no, I haven't drank, uh, drink a lot because uh, we can see exactly how much you drink using this marker. So we are uh, adding more and more markers that related to health, performance and wellness that will help us to uh, basically improve our health. Amazing. No, that, that's about alcohol is, is really true because I mean, I, I was a table tennis professional player when I was uh, younger. And the funny thing is that I always remember that uh, since the, the life was very stressful because you practice, I don't know, eight hours, 10 hours per day. And uh, every weekend you got a, a match, a tournament, a championship. Uh, when you had the stop, you usually, you know, you got drunk or you get party because you, you really have to, to cut off. So a lot of sportsmen, they they have a very concentrated drinking period but uh, you know in the end they drink a lot so that that's the the point it's very interesting point is okay good yeah gil uh one um uh, kind of analysis that that has been in in uh, has been done in this uh, years is also DNA. So mm -hmm. uh, what I want to ask you is uh, some people say, okay, better to do a DNA test or uh, some other people say better to do a hair test. They do analysis starting from hair. Uh, you decided blood. Why? Uh, and uh, how do you benchmark with the other uh, source of information? So that's an excellent question. And actually DNA, uh, the, the quality of the DNA test and the quantity and the price uh, is becoming a, a more and more abundant, which is great. Uh, the issue, there are several issues with DNA that I think that is not as good as a blood analysis. It's good to co complement blood analysis, but it cannot replace it. Okay. So first of all, DNA, you're born with the DNA, and it stays like that. So basically, DNA can tell you that you will have a higher chance to have a dementia or cardiovascular disease in the future. It doesn't say what's happening now. So that's a very uh, important uh, point. Second, as, as you age or change, the DNA won't change. So basically you do the DNA test only once and you cannot see improvement on change in your health. While with the blood, the blood is showing what's happening in your body right now. So basically, if you do another blood test, as you said, Tim Ferriss is doing it every month, you can see a change, whether you improved it or it went to the worst. While with the DNA, you cannot do it. The, right. next, the next point is that DNA is pretty new. So all the data about a single nucleotide polymorphism, that that's basically what you look at the DNA, all of the data uh, is uh, new from the last decade or so. So there is not enough information to be sure that each uh, change in the DNA is really doing something that the researchers are saying because there is uh, one or two papers about it. When, when you look at the blood markers, 
they are around for hundreds of years. So basically you have thousands of papers on each uh, blood biomarkers that you can basically back up and give a better mm. recommendation. So for all of the so all of that basically suggests that a, a, a blood analysis is much, much powerful than the DNA, at least now. The DNA can be a good support. So basically, let's say that you have high cholesterol. We can look at your DNA and say, oh, one of you, the genes that you have are basically predict that you have an a issue with cholesterol from your parents. And that will right. say, okay, it will be hard for you to decrease the cholesterol uh, by a, a nutrition, and maybe you need to take some drugs in order to decrease the, the, the cholesterol. Okay. But, but still, the blood will say whether your cholesterol is right now high and what should you do, what should be the intervention. So the DNA is like a secondary test, but it's not the, uh, the primary for sure. And, and hair test is not my case, I know, but I know that <laughs> <laughs> someone start from hair, isn't it? Yeah, so hair is uh, uh, the same with the uh, hair. It's a uh, first of all, it's not what happening inside your body. It show what happening inside the hair follicle or the right. or, or the area of the hair. So it doesn't show the systematic analysis of all the body, um, and not all the markers are available to test uh, uh, in the air. For example, uh, if you look, let's say, at the glucose or the amount of uh, cholesterol, so I'm not sure that if you look at the air follicle, you will see exactly what happening now in the body. You will okay. see what happening in this air follicle at the time that it was growing. So okay. there is still some limitation. Definitely, it can be a, a, a way to test, but it's not as accurate as the plan. Right. That's interesting. Okay, uh, so you you get me. You 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 have my attention now on blood test, but I'm very scared of blood test. You know, that's uh, and the last time I, I think I took the blood test, I just faint like that. You know, okay. the doctor say, "Oh, go for a blood test." The problem, I say, "No, come on, no problem." And uh, boom, I just <laughs> I just uh, fell down. So uh, how can people do do an easy blood test? Uh, I know that you. Are are working on something, some uh, magic tool to make the blood test easier instead of going to a lab and all doing all this stuff that is always, you know, a little bit painful and people is not so happy maybe to do it. Yeah, so that's an excellent point and I think that uh, uh, there are a few barriers today for to go to the mass with the blood analysis. The first one is uh, you need to go to the lab and that's take time and money and all of us are uh, very busy people. And the second is, as you said, when you go to the lab, the phlebotomist, the person that basically draw the blood, come to you and you draw tens of ml of blood, and that's scary and it's, uh, it's not very pleasant. Yeah. So we, decide, we decided to develop a new tool that basically will at least uh, remove some of those barriers. So, so first of all, with this tool you can do it at the comfort of your home or office. Second, uh, you will use a, a sort of a cartridge. Can you see that? That is cool. basically very small and easy. And you, okay. will, uh, you will prick your finger with that, similarly to what a diabetic patient are doing when they are uh, measuring their uh, glucose to decide whether they take uh, insulin or not. And okay. they are doing it like five times a day. So basically, you prick your finger, then drop a few drops of blood in, into this cartridge. Um, mail it to us, and after a, a week you get the result. So it's basically uh, not painful at all. It's a, it's like a bee sting, and uh, after a week you get the result. So you save time, uh, you save a, a, a uncomfort a, a situation, and I think that that will also will allow us to increase the frequency frequency of the blood test and maybe get even to once a month because you want to measure some of the markers that are changing very rapidly, you want to measure them more, and with this uh, apparatus, there is a great chance that you can do it. Amazing, amazing. But, and do you think in, in the future will be possible uh, that, that you don't even have to send the, that, 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 uh, that tool? Uh, th th that the analysis uh, can be done uh, locally or you just need to send the tool by post? Yeah, definitely. So uh, I see in the next uh, five years that it will be at home. So basically you prick the finger with that and uh, then uh, drop it on that and then uh, uh, this uh, cartridge will be connected to your iPhone and right. basically do the analysis and uh, transmit it wirelessly. So if you look at the blood analysis, and let me give you an analogy of the car industry. Yeah. So most of us are still uh, driving a gasoline-driven car. Uh, some of us already moved to the hybrid cars. 
and only a few using the Telsa or other cars that are completely electric. Yeah. So I see the normal blood analysis as the uh, gasoline car. This one is like the hybrid car, and the one that connected to your iPhone will be the Telsa, and that will be there. Will be there in five years, but in the intermediate, we will use that. Right. Yeah, I like it. I, I was thinking, um, I, I got an interview one month ago and uh, this guy from the radio say, hey, what's happening, you know, the new trends. And I was talking also about you. Uh, I'm, I'm an inside tracker, uh, unpaid evangelist, I would say. And uh, no, but I, I was talking about, you know, the quantitative self trend, uh, a trend where people is tracking their body to see how it's going. And this guy doing the interview, he was so scared, you know, I thought he said, oh gosh, everything now under control. That's a very scary scenario. When in, in my opinion is very cool, you know, is uh, helpful. You can exactly measure how, how you're going. So uh, probably there is also a cultural barrier to, to, to pass when you introduce all these tools. What do you think, Gil? Yeah, so uh, actually what I want to uh, discuss today is uh, what I call the mid-digital health revolution. revolution sorry, uh, And uh, uh, basically, uh, we are standing in front of the mid-digital health revolution. So in the next uh, few years, each of us will have his own uh, mid-digital -digi health smartphone application that will include blood biomarkers, heart rate variability, health data, medical de uh, records, activity tracker, all the pedometer, Fitbit, and so, yeah. and recommendation how to improve uh, performance, live longer, and delay the onsets, onset of the uh, aging-related diseases. So basically, I don't think that it's care that you have all this information, because this information is basically going to empower yourself to make a better decision and allow you to live longer, delay the onset of uh, aging-related diseases, and be better. So mm -hmm. uh, instead of the physician having all this information, you can have all this information. Yeah. Just imagine uh, when uh, you will uh, walk with your cell phone uh, in the street of uh, London, in your case, it will tell you, hey, Marco, I know that you are hungry right now. The restaurant that is good for you, based on your blood and other markers, is this restaurant. And right. the, the dish that you should eat is this dish. Now, the same, uh, you are walking in your house uh, at evening, and you are very hungry for dinner, you look at your cell phone and telling you, hey, Marco, now you need to eat uh, a fish with rice. And then Marco will say, no, I don't want fish today. I want I ice cream. cream. <laughs> yeah. So you click and try to change it, and it's giving you other alternatives, okay? Then uh, another example, you go uh, once a week to the grocery shop. Immediately, it's uh, 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 arranged the uh, uh, shopping list for you and also right. showing you and telling you what should you take from aisle one, what should you pick from aisle two, so it saves also time and money, because it's also arranged all of the things for you. So basically, this smartphone application will be like the GPS today when you drive around the street of London, basically allowing you to go from point A from to point B faster without traffic and so on. That will help you to do that for yourself, to maintain yourself, to inject the right uh, gasoline for your body that you, it's need and also to do it fast and healthy and be with the stuff that you like. Yeah. That's the G uh, Gil, what do you think about um, the fact that uh, in this moment you start to have a lot of tools? Uh, you have the Fitbit, Jawbone, uh, Lumo, I saw that, that tool to mm, that uh, give you a little buzz uh, to stay yeah. <laughs> stand instead of being down um, so but you have a lot of tools to mm, that try to measure uh, your your body calories or whatever how can you put everything together are you thinking about something that can um, you know uh, collect all this information instead of having all this information uh, everywhere in an easy way yeah, so at the end it will be combined, again, if you look at uh, Google as an example, Google combined a lot of different tools in the digital world that basically you can use all of them in one platform that's called Google. So you have the Chrome, you have the Google Search, you have YouTube and so on and so forth, uh, Google Docs. Um, and here there will be, a, the revolution just started, so now you have plenty of tools all over, and then it will start to consolidate. 
and you will have a, a couple or three two, uh, different vendors that will basically allow you to use a lot of tools. So basically, I think that this Instant Tracker is well positioning to be this uh, uh, platform that will combine all of them, but uh, there might be a few other that allow you to integrate all this data, medical, activity, uh, nutrition, and other, and basically combine all the information, run it in an algorithm, and then uh, give you a recommendation exactly what should you do based on all of those uh, signals from those uh, uh, um, different tools. A mobile phone will be the, let's say, the, the, the bridge uh, from human beings to all this data. Do, do you figure that uh, the mobile phone will be the, the, the yeah, tool well, that we use? For sure. Uh, uh, I don't know about you, but I know that on my uh, smartphone I have like around 10 applications that I use daily. That's the GPS uh, and the uh, Skype and uh, um, some other uh, application, my RunKeeper, I like to run with that and so on. Yeah. Um, so there will be uh, one or two more applications like that, that basically will allow you to me measure your uh, health and nutrition and all of that and combine all this information together. Definitely it will be on the, in my opinion, it will be part of the smartphone application. Right. Or uh, let's say if it will be Google Glass, uh, but it, the, the point, the principle is always the same. I mean, something that exactly. people wear ha and uh, it helps to, to be more healthy, more fit. Okay, we, we just very long in the interview, but I just want to, you know, your best three tips if you have it or three suggestions but also if you have uh, your favorite tools or mobile app to measure your health uh, what would you recommend you have a lot of entrepreneurs or companies or managers viewing this this digital domination summit videos uh, what do what's your take i mean if you should uh, recommend and suggest something uh, to you know stay healthy if it's an app or if it's some is an activity to do what would you recommend so definitely Instant Tracker, I would, I would say. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's be serious a bit. Um, I would say that I, I really like Fitbit and the Fitbit Like. And uh, we are uh, currently doing some uh, weight loss experiment uh, integration of Fitbit with Instant Tracker and all of that. And I see the, um, the um, people that we are our subject, which are having a, a bit of extra weight. And we gave them Fitbit and it's amazing. They are sleeping with that, they are running with that. Uh, at the day that they forgot the Fitbit at home, they won't exercise because it won't measure their uh, uh, exercise. So I think that uh, uh, those uh, activity trackers are uh, pretty sticky and uh, it's great for everyone to have it. I also like the digital scale. Um, so either uh, Fitbit have a di digital scale or Weeding, uh, it's actually a European company that have digital scale that, uh, that are really good. I also like RunKeeper and actually we integrated with RunKeeper which basically measure uh, your okay. activity using GPS when you are outside. So there are plenty of those uh, that I will recommend. One more that actually is really cool is the uh, heart rate variability which is a, a, a tool that basically measure uh, the distance between the peak that uh, you have uh, uh, doing the heartbeat and that's basically similar to the EEG that the physician is doing and that's okay. can uh, uh, predict whether you slept enough or whether you are tired or not and there are a couple of vendors that I really like one of them is Eitlet, it's a British English company so in your neck of the wood another one um, uh, uh, that uh, uh, I also like is Omega Wave it's also a European company, so it seems right. like in upgrade variability, Europe is the head of the US. But, but uh, is some is an app or is uh, something that you have to wear like a chest for, for your chest or wrist? So so currently they use the chest the chest strap that you put on your chest, okay. and that's transmit to the to your uh, iPhone or Android phone. Um, they are now working, uh, and I know that some other companies working on something that you just put on the on the tip of the finger, okay. and that's uh, transmitted to your uh, uh, to the, your uh, iPhone. So uh, there, there is a lot of movement in this field as well. Interesting, excellent. Gil Brander, Inside Tracker. Gil, thank you so much. InsideTracker.com, and uh, I'll, I'll wait. T till the, your your tool, you know, your ma little machine is coming out. I hope it's not painful when you put the finger on for the blood test. The test you will see. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'll let you know. Good luck for everything. Thanks. Bye. Good.